Big cheers today you're hearing at Lordstown Motors. The first two endurance betas rolled off the manufacturing line. Number one, as you saw, all red, white, and blue. The two kind of in orange and brown colors. Beta meaning that it's another test model, but getting closer to the final version. The company said two down, 55 to go in this production run. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Alexis Walters. 500 workers have been busy putting together the 57 trucks, which will be tested now to see how they perform. At 5, we showed you that brand new video, new at 6. We're live outside Lordstown Motors with First News anchor Stan Boney. Well, on March 15th, 16 days ago, I was inside the Lordstown Motors plant, and CEO Steve Burns said that at that point, in 12 days, we would be seeing the first of the endurance pickup trucks, the beta endurance pickup trucks, roll off the line. Well, Burns, he didn't miss it by much. Today, here at the plant, the first two beta pickups were unveiled to the public. They rolled off the line and were showed to the public. A large crowd was there to witness it, but the media was not allowed in to be a part of it. The Lordstown Motors themselves released the video on their own. Let me show you that videotape. The event took place in a large open area of the plant. The first, first vehicle driven in was a red, white, and blue Endurance with the number 01 painted on it. The second Endurance was brown and orange. It had the number 2 painted on it. There was a large crowd on hand, looked to be close to 500 people, and as the vehicles came out, they all erupted into a large applause. Now, eventually, the red, white, and blue endurance was driven up on a stage where CEO Steve Burns was waiting on it. The two men inside got out and joined Burns, but we do not know who they were. The entire video lasted 1 minute and 18 seconds. It ended with a slate that read two betas down, 55 to go. Now these betas will be used for a couple of different things. Certainly one will be for testing purposes, but the also some of them will be lent out to pers prospective buyers to let them test drive them. This was a big day at Lordstown Motors where the operation now has 500 people employed. Now I wanted to talk with Steve Burns or someone from Lordstown Motors about the momentous event that happened here today, but I was told there would be no interviews granted by anyone here today. Live in Lordstown, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.